So today we're going to teach you how to make the dreamiest, creamiest oats ever. And I hope that my video does it justice because it's pretty hard to make creamed oatmeal look sexy, but it will taste like a million bucks and you will enjoy it to the utmost. If you love oatmeal, you're going to love steel cut oats that much more. cold morning, what reminds you more of grandma's house to me than anything is oatmeal. My grandpa used to have it every morning for breakfast and as a little kid I looked forward to going to their house and having oatmeal with my grandpa. He called it mush, not very appetizing, but it was something that I loved to eat with him. And so now as an adult it's still something that I enjoy eating, but now I've change to a more mature type of oatmeal and I use steel cut oats. I found this recipe online and I love it. So I wanted to make it with you today in order for you to see how simple it is to make a higher end type of adult oatmeal. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to Cooking with Carrie. So in one hand I have your traditional rolled oats. Now these are large flake, so they need to cook a little bit longer, but they've been rolled out so they cook faster. On the other hand, in this one I'm going to show you, are steel cut oats. Now these have been cut two or three times and that's all that's been done to them. And so they're gonna require much longer time to cook. See those side by side? And that's why you need to cook steel cut oats differently than you would with a traditional kind. This recipe starts with three cups of water. How exciting is that? <laughs> then the next thing you're going to add is one cup of milk. Now I'm going to make this vegan friendly and so I'm pouring in coconut milk, but you can use cow's milk, goat's milk, coconut milk, almond milk, the choice is yours, whatever you enjoy. So, but to make this vegan friendly today, we are doing it with coconut milk. We're going to bring that mixture to a simmer over medium heat. And in the meantime, I'm going to go over to another pan and get the oats ready. All right, so I'm gonna start out with a tablespoon of coconut oil and get this cooking. Now this is going to be going the same time as you can see over there. My milk and water are going to simmer together. Now we're going to add one cup of steel cut oats into the pan with coconut oil. And what we're going to do next is toast them. In this toasting process, this toasting process is what gives the oats the deeper, richer flavor when you're done cooking. So this is one step that's a little bit extra, but I love the way it makes my oats taste. Stir these occasionally until they're golden and fragrant. And we're going to just let those cook for two minutes. And by then the water should be ready. They may not look any different, but you can smell the coconut oil and the oats cooking and it smells delicious. So I'm just waiting for my water and my milk to get to simmering and then I'm going to add the oats to that liquid. Waiting for a pot of water to boil can take longer when you're doing it on video. So we've just become started to boil here and I'm going to add my oats, which I've set to the side while I was waiting for this to happen. And now I'm going to add the oats directly into the milk and water mixture. Okay, so I'm going to turn that temperature down just a little bit. We're going to cook it at medium to medium low temperature. And we're going to cook this now for 20 minutes, um, maintaining that gentle simmer and stirring occasionally until the mixture is very thick. So 
So here we are at the 10 minute mark. We still have another 10 minutes to go and then another 10 minutes on top of that. So 10 minutes in and this is what our oats look like. They've still got a long ways to go before they're ready to eat. So we've reached the 20 minute mark. The, as you can tell, the oatmeal has gotten, or the steel cut oats have gotten much thicker. And now it's time to add our salt. So I'm gonna add some Himalayan pink salt. We're gonna add a quarter teaspoon into that. Mix that all in. And we're going to continue to simmer the mixture stirring it occasionally until and reducing that heat to prevent the scorching on the bottom until almost all the liquid has been absorbed and that's going to take about another 10 minutes so i'm going to turn down that heat and watch it a lot closer for these next 10 minutes they're definitely not pretty but they sure taste good those are what steel cut oats look like once they become fully cooked. Okay, so I've removed my oats from the stove top now and they're going to sit for five minutes. Now this is the perfect time to do your add-ins. So you can add um, cinnamon, nuts, dried berries, even if you wanna be really fancy, some orange zest, you get to choose how your oatmeal is going to taste at this point. Or you can just leave it plain and then add what you want to when you're ready to eat it. I always cook up this mount and then I store it in the fridge and pull out a little bit each day for my breakfasts. And that's how I'm able to have a nutritious breakfast and easy because everyone doesn't have 40 minutes in order to make steel cut oats. But if I can make it once, on the week and then it lasts me throughout the week. I'm pretty plain Jane when it comes to my oatmeal. Brown sugar and coconut milk and my oats and that will keep this girl happy. Hope you can be creative and make your own type of oats that you like with whatever type of toppings you can be creative with. Please like and share and subscribe to more videos to learn more about the great recipes that we have here on Cooking with Carrie.